because our Congressman John Katko won't meet with us um, in a public in-person town hall meeting. So um, we came to the streets. We're here to, you know, say this is unacceptable and that he needs to meet with his constituents. He's an elected official, um, he's a public servant, and he's somebody that should be hearing our concerns, especially given the current administration and all the problems and issues that we're seeing with that. We need a leader, not a Christian leader. constituency in a town hall, despite having promised to meet in regular town halls when he was elected in 2014. So here we are, holding him to that promise. So far, he's only agreed to do telephone town halls, and we find that unacceptable. <laughs> um, I've been a part of those phone town halls. Um, they screen your questions. So if you want to ask a question, someone comes on and asks you what your question is, so it's a staff member, and then um, you hear four, four or five people ask their question, and I never got to ask my question, and I waited for the whole 40 to 50 minutes. The other thing about that is um, they, they don't let you know when the calls are going to happen. So I just got a random phone call, um, you know, at 6 o'clock at night when I'm trying to have dinner with my kids. Um, and I had no time to prepare or anything, but I guess I didn't need it because I never got my question asked. We have one very strong unified message for the congressman. It's a quote from Woodrow Wilson that says, the ear of the leader must ring with the voices of the people. Going the line with President Trump. Mr. Katko supports taking away a woman's right to choose, and he supported the confirmation of Betsy DeVos, a person who would like to dismantle the very institution she was nominated to lead. Martin Luther King said, there comes a time when must, one must take a position that is neither safe, nor politic, nor popular, but he must take it because his conscience tells him it is right. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show because I'm just not very happy with the way that John Kako has avoided holding town halls. Um, I feel like that he's put himself in a real no-win scenario here. I don't get why he just doesn't do it because if he does do it and something productive gets done, that's a victory on him. If nothing productive gets done, he can say he was right the whole time. That's really my take on it. Representative Katko calls us out for following some of the advice provided in the Indivisible Guide, but all the while, he is following the Republican playbook. Vilifying. He is vilifying peaceful dif dissent and refusing to hold in-person town hall meetings. John, who do you represent? Who do you represent? John, who do you represent? As people of this district, we want to have a word, regardless of our viewpoint, deserving to be heard. Who do you represent? John, who do you represent?